OK, I'm just going to play around with the swirl effect on Scratch. So I've opened a new Scratch project and I'm just going to delete the cat. So I'll get the scissors, cut the cat away and I'm going to get a new one from the folder. Let's go to the costumes. We're going to the... F um, no, in fact we'll go to the animals. And I'm just going to grab this squirrel that's in here. OK, there's the squirrel. Just move him over there. And in addition, I'm going to go and get a photo that's on my computer. So I'm just going to go computer and we'll have to go to my desktop. So it's all users, desktop, folder in there called photos. Let's go and get a picture. Uh, here we go of our dog. Now it's too big, of course, so if I click the shrink and just shrink that picture down. So I've got the dog and the squirrel. Right, OK, we're going to add a script to the squirrel. So on the squirrel. Right, control, so when the green flag is clicked, we are going to go to looks. We're going to change. We're going to click to effect, change the effect. And we're going to drop down menu and choose swirl. And I can leave it at 25 now. If you watch what happens, he slightly twirls the picture. I want it to swirl back, so I'm going to get change. And this one was 25, so this one's going to be minus 25. So he looks as though he's twitching his nose. Ah, I forgot to change it to swirl. So let's change that to swirl. Do it again, click the green. And he looks as though... Right, it's only done it once, of course, so now we need to go to Control and grab forever. Do it again, and he should start twitching his nose. Of course, it's going too fast, so what I need to do is get a weight and put it in the middle and see what happens now. Now, it's still a bit twitchy, so really I can do with putting a weight right at the bottom as well. So we'll go one way, twitch and then he waits one second and he goes another way. You can see he's beginning to twitch his nose. Okay, so I'm going to grab that script and copy it and drop it onto the dog. And let's see what happens now. The dog should click on the script, should also be doing that. So click the green flag. Yep, and the dog's also twitching his nose. And you can make it slightly more accentuated. So instead of 25, let's make it 50, play around, see what the difference is. Make that one minus 50, so it goes back to the same place. Yep, and it's beginning to distort the picture a bit too much. Click green flag again. So you, sh you have to decide how much you're going to distort the picture. Okay, I'm going to get a ball this time. So from the costumes, I'm just going to go to a things. And we'll just grab this one and put that on. So let's try it with the ball again. Grab the script and drop it on top of the ball. And let's see if the ball now starts moving as well. Now it's barely moving, so I'm going to make this one a lot higher. So I'll make it something like 300. And I'll make that one minus 300. So it really does begin to look like a lava lamp sort of effect. Uh, still really not. Have I got the right one? Ah, it's because I clicked the wrong one. I've been doing that to the dog. Right, let's go back, put that back to the dog was 50. I think I changed this one to 300. Stick with 25 on that one. And we'll stick with minus 25 again. And get back to the ball sprite. Forgot to click the ball sprite. And here we go 300. 300 and minus 300. Yeah, that's the effect that I was looking for. But it's really quite swirly. OK. And let's make the weight in between less. So make it 0.25. And perhaps I'll make this one 0.25 at the same time. OK. And I think what I'll do is I'll add a change colour on that one as well. So looks, let's change the colour at the same time. So at the end, before it does the second swirl, we'll get it to change the colour as well. OK. Right, let's do the same to the background. So stage, get a background. We're going to edit this one. 
Um, we'll just fill it with a colour for now and let's get some, get the pen and we'll just draw a, a shape. Let's get some lines here and a colour and we'll just play around and just very quickly draw some shapes. Let's get a different colour. And what we're going to do is we're going to make these twirl as well. Do one more. Right, so that's our background. I'll just move our ball over there and perhaps uh, move him down a little bit. In fact, I'll make him a little bit smaller. Okay. And move the dog down. Okay, well, the background has the same script. So again, I'm going to copy the script from the squirrel onto the stage. Okay, and the stage is also change the swirl effect, and we'll also have to change have that to change colours as well. I think colour effect. Um, oh, wrong one. Change colour effects by get rid of that one by 25. Right, let's see what that looks like. Click the stick green flag and everything should now be changing the ball and the stage doesn't appear to be doing it. Let's click on the check the stage. Yep, change set change colour effect on the stage. Okay, let's try it again. Yep, the colours are changing on the stage now, it's, and the swirl is barely doing a swirl. Let's change the swirl a bit more. Make the swirl perhaps a hundred, so it's more noticeable. Uh, it's beginning to swirl a little bit. Not a lot, but it's certainly the colour is changing anyway. So that's just playing around with the swirl, and you can see the squirrel is changing the colour effect there. Perhaps we won't bother with the colour effect for the squirrel. Okay, so it's a bit of fun on this using the swirl effect.